Hey y'all, happy Monday. So we are digging in this week to um, the armor of God, the belt of truth, and I think that we will finish it up this week. So we'll see, um, we'll see how far we get. But that's my plan and I'm so glad that you're with me today. Now, so we of course have been reading kind of all over the place, but last week we talked about um, the truth in Jesus being the truth and him setting us free and that everything that Jesus conquered we can conquer because of Jesus on the inside of us so that truth um, is, is just so powerful and then cinching that around our waist really tightening that truth around our waist that he has led captivity captive and that he um, has conquered. You know, John 16, 33 tells us that too. Um, he says, in this world, you will have, <laughs> we've read this so many times, but let's just read it again for today. Um, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have perfect peace and confidence. Jesus says, in the world, you have tribulation and trials and distresses and frustrations, but be of good cheer. Take courage, be confident, certain, and undaunted, for I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Now that is a good, good father, a savior, glory to God. And he says, think about that though, in light of the Roman armor and the Roman soldier and the stance in which we take. And he says, be of good cheer, take courage, be confident, certain, and undaunted. That is the kind of soldier that I want to be. And that's the kind of soldier, that's the kind of, of Christian, a follower of Christ that Jesus has enabled us to be because of his work on the cross. Now today, um, I want to get into where we're going to go for the week in the placement of the loin belt or where the loin belt is worn and um we all know where the belt is worn right the loin belt covered the roman soldiers loins <laughs> that's what it was meant to protect so why is that important and how in the world does that relate to the christian and wearing the armor of god why is that important? So the loin belt covered the Roman soldier's loins. Why are we going here? Well, you know why the loins are important. It's reproduction. Um, the ability to be fruitful and multiply. And that comes from, where does that sound familiar? From Psalm, I mean not Psalm, <laughs> Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 27 um, when God gave the blessing to mankind, he said, be fruitful, multiply, fill up the earth, and subdue it, using all of its vast resources in the service of God and man. This is Genesis 1, starts in 26 and goes to 28. And he said, let us make man in our image, right? So part of our assignment, a divine assignment, is to be fruitful and multiply. Well, that's not just in the arena of children, but in everything that we do, everything that we put our hands to, we should be fruitful, which that actually came out in, um, I believe it was our Saturday live video, in that um, the fruits of the Spirit producing in our lives. And then going back to Psalm 1, that everything he puts his hand to shall prosper and come to maturity. His leaf also shall not fade and wither. Um, that is, yeah, Psalm 1, 3. And he shall be like a tree, firmly planted and tended by streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. That is being fruitful and multiplying. That the things that we are involved in, the things that we put our hand to, are fruitful. So not just in the sense 
jumping ahead of myself for the rest of the week. But as we're looking to this and talking about the placement of the loin belt and why it was important to protect the loins, um, think about reproduction and being fruitful and multiply. We'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.